Hey guys, it's Megan and welcome to today's video. I wanted to go ahead and give you a little tour of how I decorated my home for Halloween. I got a lot of requests for this video so I, I wanted to make sure it got up. It's right before Halloween but I think it's perfect to get you in the Halloween feel. I'm going to show how I put to use so many of the things that I picked up at Dollar Tree this year and last and from Target Dollar Spot. So if you're interested in seeing how I put all of my Halloween decor together and situated in my house, then just keep watching. If you haven't seen any of my other home tours, I have an open layout floor plan. So we are going to start with what you see when you walk in my front door off to the right. So in my dining room, I have this spider garland hanging from up there. I'm pretty sure that was from Target, um, maybe a couple years ago, probably in the dollar section. Then at my dining table, I just have these um, to the vase and the candlestick that was from Dollar Tree. And then these little, that's a skull down there, and then little pumpkins. Those were from Target. They had them again this year, and they weren't in the dollar spot or dollar area, but they were only like three bucks, so they weren't um, they weren't too expensive. And I love the way that they look. They're so cool looking. This tablecloth is from Home Goods, but I got it last year. I love this tablecloth so much, and I'm pretty sure this table runner was also from Home Goods. This I showed in my recent Halloween DIY from Dollar Tree. And I just have my little crow sitting on top of my give thanks pumpkin. And I have it up on a little stand that I made from Dollar Tree that was in my fall DIYs. And then these little velvet pumpkins were from the Target Dollar Spot this year. And this skull was from Dollar Tree. And I added a little spider on there. And then back here, I just added this creepy cloth kind of more shredded to the back of that bench to give it a little, little more spooky vibe. And then I added some creepy cloth over my Be Thankful pillow. Again, just to give it a little bit more of a spooky vibe. Over here, I added creepy cloth over the top of my lamps and then I added in little foam spiders. I just taped them into there. And we added some of these big Dollar Tree spiders to the walls because my daughter loves for it to be spooky for Halloween so we go with it. Up at the top I have just a couple of these little skeleton creatures and then on the second shelf these are the pictures that are from Dollar Tree. I added a frame around them last year. That was in my Halloween DIY from last year and I added just some cobwebs to them. And then I have some more of the little skeleton creatures, my little boo sign. I cannot remember where that's from, but I've had it for a couple years. And my other little um, picture where it changes when you look at it different ways, which I think those are always so cool. And then down here, I added some more spiders to this lampshade. And then down here, I have these little pumpkins and skulls that were on my dining table, just some more of them in this little vase flipped over. And then right here is a skeleton from Dollar Tree that I painted white and I just have them sitting on like a candle plate with some moss on top of it and um, just a little candle stick that I have down there. And then I have my little owl with the two little candles and this little trick or treat. This was the sign, or not sign, but frame was actually from the Target Dollar Spot, like back in, I forget, spring, I think. And then these are from Dollar Tree, the little letters and the bats. And then this little guy was from Dollar Tree, and I just added some moss underneath him. This is a little clock that shoots out a bird or makes a noise, but it goes off all the time, so I usually leave it off. My daughter likes playing with it. And 
then I have this little happy Halloween sign. I don't remember where that was from. I think my mom actually got that for me. And then down here, this was from Dollar Tree, I'm pretty sure. And then I just added some moss and another little candlestick. And then this are these skulls that are from Dollar Tree. I did a DIY with those last year and put them on top of each other. And then a little candle plate down there and added some more um, moss. And then this is another skeleton from Dollar Tree. I added this little um, spider. It was ribbon and I just kind of made a little like headband for him and then used the creepy cloth as a little cape. And then this little mummy was from Dollar Tree. Again, added some moss and put them on the candlestick. And then this was a tree that I found on like clearance at Joann's or Michael's for like five bucks. So I couldn't pass him up. He's really sparkly too. Or the tree's really sparkly. I guess it's not a he. Then over here, I just have this little Halloween picture. This was from Kirkland's. I love this picture so much. It was actually a gift from my dad and my mom for our house, but I love it. I'm pretty sure it wasn't too expensive, but it's so cool looking. They had a lot of these cool light up pictures. And then I have just another little spider right there. And then where I had for the fall, welcome to our patch. I just added some of the little glittery pumpkins down there and then put some spiders on them and a skull sticking out. And then I have this little creepy skeleton that actually makes noise. make our way over into the family room area so first I have this little tombstone that says rest in peace and it has little light up eyes we actually got it like a huge discount because it had this little like crack right here but I figured that crack is fine because it's Halloween and things aren't supposed to be perfect but you can obviously like spray paint that or paint it black so it's not as noticeable but it was fine with me. Then we just have some more spiders up there and a little bat hanging down there. And then at my TV area, I just have this little sign from Dollar Tree that says, today I am a good witch. And then this little happy Halloween sign. Over here on this side table, I just added, well actually my daughter added this spider to the lampshade. And then we just have this little inn that has a rat on top of it. My husband tried to put these little command things on it for it to stay like that, but it didn't stick as well, but it's not too bad. And then this is a little pumpkin. I'm pretty sure that was from Dollar Target Dollar Spot last year. And then I added these Walmart pumpkins down there. And then I just have that little skull down there with my weights when we work out at home. We have the weights right there. Then over here, I have, like I said, the bat hanging from there. Then I have some creepy cloth over that mirror. And then that is the little fall arrangement that I made. Don't mind my bulldog snoring. The little fall arrangement that I made um, this year using Dollar Tree stuff. And then I just added this Dollar Tree ribbon around it. This was actually a um, fail, like a DIY fail. I tried to make like a, the, a, like a wreath out of this. It didn't work out so well, so I just kind of put it right there and have that little welcome sign that's super old that I've had forever and then another little Dollar Tree pumpkin. I wanted to get some more Halloween pillows this year, but I just didn't end up getting any. These I got last year, I think from Home Goods. I love them, but I kind of wanted them over in my dining room and different ones on my couch, but next year it'll happen. So those, I do love them and these were there from the fall and Nala's in her favorite spot. So on my little coffee table, I just have this little vase that I did and these skulls that I stuffed in there and with some moss and then I just put these Dollar Tree um, skulls down there and added some moss there. This is what it looks like. My bedroom is behind me, so this is what it looks like looking out this way. I have a 
Halloween banner. I'm pretty sure that was from Target Dollar Spot last year. And then we'll make our way over towards the kitchen. This is just our little like catch-all table that where we put our keys and stuff in that bowl. But I just have my little gather sign from the Target Dollar Spot. I threw some creepy cloth over it and then have those two white pumpkins right there. And then I added a little spider. This is like our little change um, bowl, I would guess you would say. And then this is a little decoration my mom got us from Big Lots and my daughter added this little crow inside of it I actually had it up on top there before I put the spider there but she added it there because it gives the little um, shadow of it and she thought that was cool we couldn't get the tape off of this very well where it has the little button to press so i added the little skull there and we made it to where if you push the skull then that goes off and going into my kitchen area i just added a little spider and one of those little skeletons that were on the garland from dollar tree that i painted and I have one of my favorite fall candles, the flannel from Bath and Body Works. I love it. Then I just kept the rest of the counter pretty clear except for over here. This was in my Halloween DIY from this year. I just painted this skeleton white from Dollar Tree, added a little creepy cloth to the top of them as like a cape. And then I have them paired with these two pumpkins that were from Target got them last year I'm pretty sure they were pretty cheap though then on this wall I have these two pictures that I got from Target last year I'm pretty sure they had them again this year though I love these pictures so much then coming back into my kitchen I have my little coffee bar area that I have my little black sparkly owl. I love this guy. I've had him for so long. And then this was kind of like a DIY, little bit of a fail. I added Dollar Tree ribbon to a white, a, a foam pumpkin that I painted white. It didn't turn out like that great, so I never really showed it, but I just propped it on top of a Dollar Tree candlestick. And then this was a pumpkin from Target on top of a little Dollar Tree um, candle holder kind of thing. And then a little skull head that I put on top of a Dollar Tree candlestick and made him have look like he has a little bow tie with a Dollar Tree ribbon and a spider on top. And then this was a garland that was from Target, I think last year. And then my mom got linen, these little spooky uh, worms and I just kind of put them out as decoration and then I had this little happy Halloween picture that was from Dollar Tree I love that picture because it's so sparkly I love when things sparkle then over here on my little sweetener I added a um, Dollar Tree ribbon around there and then I just have this was from Target Dollar Spot like last year I think and then I added some Halloween straws in there I have this little globe that was from Dollar Tree that I stuck on another Dollar Tree candlestick. And then I have this guy, oh wait, I forgot to turn him on, whose eyes light up and change colors. He's pretty cool looking. And I just have creepy cloth over the top of that mirror. Oh, and I forgot, over here I showed in my Halloween DIY video, but I have my little um, skeletons that I painted and added uh, fairy wings on them, so they're like my little skeleton fairies, which I think are cool. So we just made them kind of hang out on the doors. Over here on the counter, I just have some of my Halloween napkins from Dollar Tree and this little spider um, bowl, I guess you would call it, from Dollar Tree. Then at my sink area, I just have this skull um, soap dispenser. I think I got him from Home Goods last year. And then I have the rest of it clear except for over here. I have my Oreo cookie jar with this little skeleton that got his hand stuck in the cookie jar with his friend helping him get up there. 
which I just thought was fun and cute. And I have these little towels that my dad got me from Disney that are festive. And then these are towels that my mom got me uh, last year because I do like my cocktail, so it says here for the booze. And then over here, I just have um, these little Halloween chocolates that my mom got us, and this Halloween sign, and some pumpkins. Over here, I moved this sign for Halloween because it was over in my dining room, but I put it there for Halloween, and I just added these pumpkins that were the Dollar Tree and the Target Dollar Spot. That's my daughter's lunchbox and a little tray that I serve her breakfast on and then a spider and a creepy skull down there. Now we're in the office and so let's start with over here. It's just a little chair that we have there and this little um, pillow that was from Target Dollar Spot and a Dollar Tree skull that I just spray painted white. Then we have our creepy zombie that is also holding a Dollar Tree skull in its hand. And he's got a spider that's crawling on his shirt. And then another creepy skull right there. Then this is a Dollar Tree skeleton that I painted white and added some black to. And I have him sitting on top of my DIY from fall and have them resting on this little boo pumpkin, which I think is cool. And then this is a little witch. Happy Halloween, kitties! When my daughter's friends are over, or her cousins, they love making these things go off. Then I just added creepy cloth on top of this lamp and a little spider. And then that was a skirt from Dollar Tree that was in like the kids dress up stuff that I added to the bottom. And then down here I basically kept it kind of the same as it was for fall, but I added this Dollar Tree sign that I've had and then I added another like DIY fail down there and then the harvest and a little skull and then my gold um, squirrels. Then over by my desk area, I just added these little, um, I don't even know what you call them, but they're from Dollar Tree and I just stuck them right there. And then I gave them little golden eyes by sticking little gold push pins in them. And then I have this little Halloween sign. And then this was silver from the Dollar Tree and I kind of spray painted over it black. And then down here I have a orange pumpkin from Dollar Tree. This was from Dollar Tree and I spray painted it gold. Here I just took this um, arrangement that I had in my kitchen and I put it in this corner and added some little spiders to it. And then I have just the little sparkly bats going up on my wall. These bats are from Dollar Tree and they have adhesive on them. But do not use the adhesive that they have on them to stick them to your wall. I made that mistake and it peeled off my paint so I'm gonna have to repaint this wall after the holidays but I've been kind of wanting to repaint our house anyways so for the rest of them I used command um, strips on the back of them and then that worked well and then over here I showed these at the top in my Halloween DIYs skull and put a Dollar Tree witch hat on them and then I used some of the Dollar Tree base filler right there and then I have our little crow up there. And then hanging right here is just one of these signs from Dollar Tree. Then in my daughter's bathroom, I just have a few decorations. I had this up in my fall home tour. If you um, haven't seen that, that is there. So I just kept it there and I added this little Dollar Tree Halloween garland. And I had those in my fall home tour as well. But they're cute little hand towels because we have a little bulldog. Then over here, I just have this little Mickey pumpkin that has a little tea light in it, and then her succulent pumpkin that was from Target Dollar Spot. Right here, I just have this little spooky sign. I'm pretty sure that was from Dollar Tree last year, or maybe even other years. This was from Target Dollar Spot. And then, I don't remember, I've had this for a long time. So that is it for her bathroom. 
I think it's just enough, it's cute. Like I could literally go so much more if I had an unlimited budget and unlimited time, but I think it's cute. I hope you guys enjoy checking out how I decorated my home for Halloween. And if you do know someone that loves to watch these kind of videos, I would love for you to share it. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And I hope everyone has a spooky, happy Halloween. I will see you in the next video. Bye.